Greetings everybody and once again welcome back to the video. In this video I want to show you how you guys can be using Hoodie 0.14 running on AWS Glue. Apache Hoodie brings database functionality to data lakes. It's open source and widely adopted by Fortune 500 companies such as Uber, Robinhood, ByteDance, Walmart and these are just few companies I have named here. Also Hoodie 0.14 brings a lot of performance improvement also including the new record level index which allows you to achieve about 40 to 50 percent faster upset for large scale workloads. Uh, although Glue supports Hoodie out of the box but the version of Hoodie is quite older which is 0.12. So this video aims to show how companies and organization can leverage Hoodie version 0.14 running on AWS Glue. So let's take a look at the uh, steps. So let's learn how we can uh, use the RLI and 0.14 on Glue. So the first step is we need to download, um, you know, Hoodie Spark Bundle 3.3. Uh, we can do that by going to the Maven repository. So let's go ahead and go to the Maven repository and download Hoodie Spark 3.3 Bundle 0.14.0. .0. I would also leave the direct link, uh, direct link uh, for the jar file if needed. So click here and the jar file will be downloaded on your current working directory or download folder. We need one more jar which would be spark avro 2.13-3.3.0. Same way you can head over to the maven repository and then click on jar. So now both the two jar files will be downloaded, downloaded on your local machine. Now once you have this jar file, upload these jar files on S3. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna create a folder called jar. As you can see, I have a folder called jar over here. And now I'll simply gonna drag both of these jar file onto H3 and then click on upload. Now, once the jar file is uploaded, I'll, show, I'll be showing you the next part. All right, as you can see, my jar file has now been uploaded onto S3. Now I can use these in the glue job. Now let's take a look at the code uh, for uh, you know creating a transactional data lake. The code is very straightforward. We define sample you know bunch of imports. Over here, I declare a library called Faker. We have a class called Data Generator, which will generate some fake data. We create a Spark session. Then we create a Glue context. We define the table name as employees. This is the bucket where my hoodie data lake will be created. Record key is basically the primary key. How I want to partition my data lake, the method would be absurd. For deduping, I'm going to be using timestamp. The index type is going to be record level index or I also call as RLI. And that's it. I generate my Spark data frame and then basically I insert that into the Hoodie transactional data lake. Now, what you want to do is simply copy this, head over to AWS, head over to script editor, click the engine time as Spark. Now, paste the code, go to job details, Let's give this as hoodie demo. Select the IAM role. Make sure the version is glue four. Select uh, the worker type. I'm gonna use three for now. I don't wanna use 10. Uh, so that's that. And then what we need to do, come all the way on the bottom section. This is where we need to add some configuration. So job parameters, and we're gonna say extra jar files over here. And now we're going to be pasting the path to the jar file, okay? So let me head over to my S3 inside the jar folder. As you can see, this is my jar file. I'm going to copy here. And what I want to do over here quickly is, this is my first jar, my hoodie jar. I'm going to use comma. And then I'm going to be copying my next jar file. So I'm going to go here, do the same process here copy, paste it, okay? Now I'll copy this. I'll head over to my glue job, paste this here. Also, I'm gonna paste the jar in dependent jar path as well. That's it. Now we're gonna be using a additional Python module called Faker, so we're gonna be pouring the settings for that. So the flag would be additional Python modules and we're gonna be using a module called Faker. So I'm gonna copy this. I'm here, paste, that's it. Now click on save. Now the job has been saved. Now go ahead and click on run. So my job is in the running state. Now I'm gonna resume once the job is complete. As you can see, my job is now in the complete state. If I go to S3, I see a hoodie folder, employees and all these partition. 
and inside each partition I see the OD metadata and my parquet or the base file. So in this video, what you've learned, you have learned how to successfully use Apache Hoodie 0.14 in AWS Glue. Um, so hope this tutorial helps. And if you have any further questions, let me know. I'm going to be listing two resources for you to read more on record level index. So I hope you have enjoyed and I'm going to be seeing you in the next video.